Hi everyone, welcome to another watercolor video where I explore limited color palettes. Today we are going to look at lemon yellow, quinacridone red, and phthalo blue green shade. Alright, let's switch out the colors and show you the color mixtures possible. I'm going to start with lemon yellow. Lemon yellow is PY175. This is a very cool and bright yellow. It's very rare to see a yellow that is as clean and bright as this yellow in nature. So this is lemon yellow. I think it gets its name from lemon. Let's try Queen of Crydon Red. This is PV19. Let me just dilute this and let you see the colors. Next we have Thalo Blue. This is a really strong vibrant blue let's paint the color wheel with this limited palette it's a bit difficult to get a bright orange so that's why I want to use new gumbosh as well so this is new gumbosh so let me mix new gumbosh with Queen of on red to let you see what kind of orange we can get so this orange is definitely brighter compared to this this is sort of like a yellow orange this is a more peach like color and now let's mix the three primary colors together to see what kind of neutralized tone we can get. This is a green with a little bit of red. Becomes brown. Let's add a bit more blue to that. This is a lot of blue with red. So this is really very dark, but this is not black. It's just a very dark version of these two colors. This is how they look alike when they are dry. Now for this particular palette, I'm able to create bright purples, bright greens, but for the orange, it's a bit subdued a bit dull down that's why i added new gumbosh to this limited palette to achieve the bright orange in case i need it if i do not need it i do not need to use this these are the neutralized tones it's quite difficult to get the precise portion for each mixture to get a really um, beautiful gray tone you can see this is slightly green, this is more reddish, this is more blue, this is a bit purple. There is no true grey tone, but I think this is also quite interesting to be able to see the colors within the shade, uh, within the wash itself. This is a phthalo blue with Queen of Crydon red. This is really dark. You can sort of use this as a black, even though it's not a true black. Now that we know the colors that are possible, let's play around by coloring this sketch that I've drawn. So I'm going to start with lemon yellow first by coloring this. Lemon yellow is a yellow that is very easy to make dirty. So if you just have a tiny bit of blue into lemon yellow, it's going to turn slightly green. And that's what's happening now because I was a bit careless I added a tiny bit of lemon uh, blue into the lemon yellow so this is not uh, really yellow but it's slightly greenish yellow let's paint this and next I want to mix some skin tone so with Lemon yellow, I'm going to add some Queen of Crydon red to it. Let's paint it here. That's a bit too much yellow. So let me add a bit more red to it. Let's 
if you want to get that precise color this is the color that I'm looking for you have to be very careful about your portion about the portion that you mix I usually mix skin tones like this with yellow ochre and a warm red in, in fact let me show you right now so this is yellow ochre which is a muted yellow you can see that this color is already quite close to this I just have to add a tiny bit of red to it and I can get some really very beautiful skin tones next up let's try and mix some um, orange lemon yellow with queen red just to see if I can get that orange and let's paint some red let's give this guy a red shirt so this is queen acrylon red without any mixing it's a bit too glaring so I want to make some a tiny bit of taylor blue in it just to make this a bit darker and for this part here I'm just going to paint it with taylor blue this guy I'm going to paint him with taylor blue mixed with a bit of Queen of Crydon Red let's give this guy here a bright green shirt oops you can see some of the color moving into the face because the part the, that part is not dry yet I think I want to correct this mistake oops and now this part is it looks weird so with lemon yellow and thalo blue you can sort of get a color that's quite close to thalo green I'm going to add some water to this and add a bit more blue so this is what you can get sorry about the noise planes flying again this is a nice neutralized tone I like this a lot there are some flowers on this lady's hair some flower decoration so I'm just going to dab some paint over there and I'm going to use thalo blue with a bit of red let's see if we can lift this so this is taylor blue it's very difficult to lift once it's on the paper so as you can see the colors are exceptionally bright exceptionally vibrant the yellow just jumps out from the page and red colors as well if you use thalo blue without any mixing it's going to look something like this is going to really stand out quite surprisingly I was able to get some pretty nice skin tone with lemon yellow and Queen of Crydon red this part here is really nice as for the shadow areas of the skin tone for me it's a bit difficult to mix maybe I'm going to try and glaze something there to see if I can get that uh, mix that I want so I added a bit of yellow and red so this is how it looks like 
perhaps it's not too bad but once I add some blue to it it becomes something like this sometimes you really just cannot tell by looking at a swatch you have to actually just use the colors to paint to see if the colors actually work so I think in this case it does work a bit so this is the mixture from the three colors so what can I say about this limited palette I like it I actually kind of like it a lot I'm quite surprised that with lemon yellow and queen of Crichton red I'm still able to get some sort of orange so in the end I did not need to use this new gumbosh so that's great so I just used the three colors available um, they blend quite nicely the violets and purples are quite nice Thalo blue by itself is quite beautiful as well the greens are bright greens yellow green and this is also a uh, sort of a nice green it looks like there is some sort of granulation the granulation could be due to the paper that i'm using this is cold pressed paper from fabriano studio it has 25 percent cotton so the three primary colors they should not granulate but here it looks like there is some sort of texture which is quite interesting the skin tone here has some color transition which makes it look a bit more interesting and now that the shadow has dried it looks quite all right phthalo blue, phthalo blue and uh, yellow green pretty nice orange here not as strong as this but still looks quite nice I think this limited color palette can be quite good for the illustration style where you need colors to be very vibrant very clean where you do not want textures then um, you can check out these three colors let me compare that to this this is new gumbosh queen Crichton red and french ultramarine you can see the texture from the granulating french ultramarine it appears almost everywhere in this particular sketch and it gives this sketch a more textural feel as compared to this sketch it's much cleaner so it's not that textural so that's all for today's video i hope you learned something i hope this video is helpful in some way if you have any questions let me know in the comment section below i'm going to continue to create the limited color palette series of videos because i personally find it to be quite fun and informative so thanks for watching see you in the next video bye